Welcome back to the Witcher Math channel. Today we're going to talk about just some basic angle identification. And we're going to focus on four, only four in this video, vocabulary words, okay? So first let's talk adjacent. Adjacent angles, as you see here, uh, have, well, they have three characteristics. They have a common side, which means they share a side. They also have a common vertex. The vertex is the point where the two uh, rays or lines meet. Like here's a vertex, right? There's a vertex of two rays. Here's a vertex of two lines. Okay, so the vertex, the point where uh, two rays or lines come together. And then finally, uh, the third characteristic is they don't overlap. They do not overlap. <clears throat> so the best example is the one I just wrote right here. Okay? We're just going to focus on what these definitions are. In a, in a second video, we'll focus on what they are not. We'll uh, do some practicing, okay? So this is what they are. They have a common side. In this case, there's their common side. Here is their common vertex. And they do not overlap. Okay, we'll talk about that in another video. Like say, for example, let's talk about it now. Why not? <laughs> let's say we had this angle and this angle. Those angles overlap, so they would not be adjacent, okay? All right, moving on. Vertical angles, which I have in red here. Okay, vertical angles, also, you may see them referred to as opposite angles or opposite vertical angles or vertical opposite angles. Watch out for all that vocab, depending on where you are. Uh, your teacher might use different language, but they basically happen at this most basic level. When you have two lines that cross, vertical angles are across from each other, okay? So this is our best example. Hey, and any time you have this, you're going to have two pairs, right? There's another pair of vertical angles. Now these here, these are vertical, and you might look at those and go, wait a minute, that's horizontal, they go across. Well, that's right, but they're not called horizontal angles, okay? This is different than doing graphing and talking about the X and Y axis, okay? So if we have two lines that cross and we're talking about these two angles, and you might think, oh, that's, that's horizontal, right? Well, in this definition, they're called vertical. So if it helps you to think of them as being opposite, maybe that'll get rid of that confusion because there's no such thing as horizontal angles, okay? And these vertical angles can be any degree of measurement. They don't have to add up to anything special. They're always equal, okay? They're always equal, which also means they are congruent, okay? You could set one right on top of the other, and that would be like one angle. They would disappear. They're equal and congruent. Vertical angles. Okay. Complementary angles. The key is the E here, right? They are not called complementary. That's like when you give someone a compliment. You say, hey, nice shoes. Or, I really like what you did with your hair today. I love that. Okay? Those are called compliments with an I. Don't get that confused, okay? That could be embarrassing and awkward. Okay? Complementary. Okay? Means they go together. They complement each other. They, they match. They go together. And in this, in this example, they form a 90-degree angle. Of course, you can identify a 90 degree angle 
if your teacher or worksheet or technology is so kind as to give you that little box there, that little box when you see it is communicating to you that it's a 90 degree angle or a right angle. Okay, and uh, as far as that goes, think of C as a corner. That'll come in handy here in a second when we start talking supplementary. C is a corner, a right angle, and these two things add up to 90. Add to 90. So, for example, if this one was, uh, say, 30, this would have to be 60 because they are contained in a right angle. So, 60 and 30, complementary. 60 and 31, not complementary, right? They have to add to 90. Finally, supplementary. Think of the S for straight, okay? S means straight, a 180, right? So supplementary adds to 180. Anytime you have a straight line with two angles on the same side of that line, you know they are supplementary. In this case, let's say we have a... Uh, if this is a 60 and these are supplementary, this has to be 120 because they need to add to 180 S for straight. Another way of thinking of this is if I take a C and I make another C backwards and upside down, it makes an S. Two C's equal an S, right? However you can keep this straight, do it. Complementary, supplementary. Okay, we're almost done here, just making some definitions. Um, I just want to talk about shared definitions briefly. And what I mean is, be open to a pair of angles having more than one definition. For example, right here, these two angles, they are adjacent and they are complementary, right? Because they form a 90 degree angle. There's tons of examples, which you should check out the next video where we practice some of this. Uh, let's see here. These two angles, they are adjacent because they have a common vertex, common side, but they're also supplementary, right? Okay, how about this? If we talk about these two angles, right, there's my 90s. These two angles, they're both 90 degrees. So check this out. They're vertical, right, because they're opposite. And they are also, did you get this? Supplementary, right, because 90 plus 90 is 180. Of course, there are many, many more examples, so watch out. It's not a trick question. If you get a multiple choice that has more than one correct answer, watch out for that because some of these can have two or three definitions for the same exact pair of angles. Okay, and finally, let's talk one more thing here. I know, I know, you're ready to be done with this, right? But we need these details because these are all those kind of questions you might have in a class where you go, well, what if this? What if that? Check this out. What if... I have this going on. Are these complementary? If I have three angles, complementary? Well, we could say yes and no. What? 
Mr. Witcher, that does not answer my question. You are a fraud, sir. No, I'm not. The no is the traditional definition of all of these things, complementary, adjacent, supplementary. The traditional definition is two angles, right? So traditionally, this would be no, right? It's three angles that add to 90. But the concept, which is add to 90, the concept can definitely be applied to three or four or five angles as long as they all add up to 90. So you have to really ask clarifying questions. Ask your teacher. Okay. If they're teaching from a traditional standpoint and give you a question like this, the correct answer is going to be no. But if they're teaching you some new woo-woo concepts and they're younger or whatever, I hate to stereotype like all this, but I just want you to be open to, some teachers might say, yes, those are complementary because they add up to 90. So this is the most important thing, and this is on you as a student. Ask those clarifying questions, okay? Ask them. If you're wondering what if, speak up. All right, that's all for this video. I'm going to make another one where we practice some of these angles, get you to uh, answer yes or no to some different examples. And finally, we're going to do another one about reading a protractor. So, whoa, you want to catch that. All right, my time is up for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.